In this example, we'll have the user enter the point. This example builds on the point worked example, so you may want to watch that one first if you haven't. So right now, I have a make point function that, given x and y coordinates, is going to stick them into a point. All right, so instead of having make point do that, I want to actually have, I want to get them from the user. Now, if we think about this, I'm going to need to do um, printf to show a prompt and scanf to get it. And I want that code to be reusable, so I will put that in a function just like we did with make point. So I'll change these be, to be get point. And get point, I don't need to pass anything in there. So just let those be um, empty parameter lists. OK, so what does get point need to do? Well, it needs to return a point. So I need to declare a local variable within here. And I'll eventually need to return it. Well, how do I fill it? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and use a scanf. So I'll print out a prompt here. It says something like, please enter the x and y coordinates of a point. And we'll let them put a comma between them, comma separated. So you've got to remember to put in an F flush in here so that it displays that output before it um, waits for the input. And then I get input using a scanf. So my scanf, my format string here, is going to be percent %f. If I want them to type in a comma, then I put in a comma in my format string, and then another percent %f. You'll note that when scanf, I don't give the precision of a floating point. And I want to read these into a couple of variables. So for instance, I could read them into variables that are called x and y that I would declare here. So float x and float y. Read them in. Now I need to make sure that they get into the point. My point, as we know, has an x coordinate. So p dot x gets x, and p dot y gets y. We'll see that that's very similar to what I did before with make point. One more thing that I need to remember is that with a scanf, I need to put in ampersands so that the scanf function can change the values that I pass in. Let's run our program. It's going to ask us to enter the x and y coordinates of a point. Looks like I have a little typo there. Let's see how it works anyway. So we'll say one point will be 4, 5. And then the second one, we'll say 4.2 and negative 0.1. And we can see that it's going to calculate the midpoints, and those look pretty accurate. I just want a final thing here. You might have wondered why we bothered creating these, these local variables x and y. I didn't really have to. I could actually have read them directly into p dot x and p dot y, and that would have worked fine as well. Then we wouldn't have, have needed these two lines of code.